Fortnite is a game for Zoomers, like kids who think I'm a dinosaur. Hello? Wait! Jesus! But just like in any other game, being young hasn't stopped anyone from competing in Fortnite tournaments and making a ton of money doing it. Three million dollars richer. The biggest individual prize victory in competitive gaming history. Of course, in order for that to happen, the pros need to practice without constantly being interrupted by stream snipers or other equally irritating bullshit. Like uh, 200 meters behind. That's why and then I get and then I get a whole stream right sniper squad that kills me. <laughs> and, and, and dude, it's so okay, annoying, okay, okay, man. Okay, okay. So how do you practice in peace? Well, for the longest time, you did it by setting up borderline illegal wager matches that have since been banned. Wager me, bro. Wager me. Quick, you're literally doing PG waiters this today, literally today. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. I, on, on mom's life. Yes, on mom's life. Uh, against ops for fun. Your, Those are just I fun. I saw your go live noti. It yeah, said PG wagers on top. On, on mom's life. On mom's life. I, I didn't do one wager. I mean, what is sub customs? Is, uh, is sub customs <laughs> underage gambling? Who doesn't love a good cage match? The unfiltered aggression, the antagonism. It's basically the exact opposite of what comes to mind when you think of kids playing video games, for the most part. And yet Fortnite, a game loved by babies and celebrities alike, somehow became a hot spot for high stakes, pay to play, 1v1 cage matches. <laughs> Do it with another 20 gifted! Box fighting and its sibling Zone Wars are creative maps designed to simulate the most skill intensive part of a competitive Fortnite match, the end game. Which from the outside looking in, looks like chaos. You're no mess. You're insane, holy Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Pro players really got into box fighting because it gave them a way to prepare for big events. These box fighting maps were extremely skill intensive, and since pros were already practicing on them anyway, the natural next step was to bet on the outcome. All right, first wager of the day is a double. Let's go. Ass. All right, wager me, bro. Wager me. No, I'm not doing 250. We're doing 500 each. Cause I don't want to do 500. Do 500 each. Because all the money in my Venmo. Bro, we're already in Venmo. the game. There's no way of pissing out when we've started the match. I'm not good at box fighting. Oh my god, you. <sighs> 250, 250. No, between 500. All right, fine, 500. Good luck. I'm trapping him in the box. Got him in the box. Got him in the box. Nice. Two, oh, three thousand dollars. Wager matches actually managed to make Fortnite cool for a minute. But as entertaining as they were, technically speaking, these box fight wagers were always against Epic Games' terms of service. But because they weren't that popular at first, the rules were never enforced. And so, people went to town. All right, we got three wagers already, bro, and I just started streaming. Yo, okay. what's up? Bro? Yo, what up, bro? Good luck. All right, boys, first wager. Of course, Fortnite kids didn't invent the idea of competing for prizes. What made Fortnite wager matches different than, say, a tournament is the fact that you had to bet on yourself in order to play. No tournament organizers, no official prize pools, just the money in the pot. They were basically money matching. People have done that for years in fighting games, Call of Duty, Gears of War, even just playing games with your friends. Everyone loves to bet on themselves. The difference here is that Fortnite players are kids and kids are not allowed to legally gamble in most countries until they're at least 18. And just in case I haven't hammered home this point enough already, a lot of the people playing Fortnite are minors. What if I told you I am the person you're talking about? Oh, can I get your number then? How old are you? I'm 12. See, that's a little something I like to call illegal. If someone decided to sue Epic Games for enabling underage gambling, Fortnite's creators would be in deep, 
deep trouble. And so when wagering on box fighting began to pick up steam, Epic Games was forced to act. But it wasn't as simple as banning Baby's first Fight Club, no. You see, part of the reason why box fighting got so big to begin with is because Fortnite has a serious stream sniping problem. You're always gonna have some griefers though, man. Like, it's just inevitable. But you just gotta play smart. You don't wanna get too close to the griefers. I feel like I've never gotten stream sniped so hard in my entire life. In a solo. Who does that, man? If you're a Fortnite content creator, you can't get away from the trolls. Whether you're trying to play with friends, you're just practicing, or just f***ing around, there's absolutely no escape. So, what a lot of streamers have done to combat the problem is to set up custom lobbies or sub-customs, which gave them a way to play with subscribers. Listen, I love all my fans, but that guy must have been on mobile. I think he shot the ground three times. These custom lobbies don't really have any mod tools for the creators, but the thinking behind these basically pay-to-play games was that if you're paying to subscribe to someone on Twitch and you get the chance to play with them, you're probably gonna take that match pretty seriously. It was a way to at least attempt to stream snipe proof your games and give large groups of players a training opportunity that arena mode and free practice servers simply couldn't provide. But then Epic changed the rules. As of January 2021, content creators can't make custom lobbies for their subs to play in. With this rule change, I don't think I can ever do custom games anymore. Unless Epic actually gives us the ability to remove people who are griefing and messing up our matches. All it takes is one or two problematic individuals to mess up an entire you know, custom gaming session. Epic made the change because they felt pay to play lobbies violated the free to play nature of their game. Of course, that meant wager matches were the next target. Clicks and a few other notable figures in the wager community were personally contacted by Epic reps and told to basically cease and desist all wager related activities. Anyone found violating Epic's new rules could have their creator code taken away and even get banned. And the players were quick to react. Uh, Epic just shutting down all sub customs. And also, also wages, wages are gonna be bannable as well, I think. I don't think anybody's gonna be allowed to do wages, which is pretty f***ed. Cause it's, it's a part of, like the same thing. It's like this part of the same rule. This is not a wager. That would be against the rules, Orange. This is actually Wait, not so for not money. No, it's not for money. This is not a wager. It's a normal 3v3. Wait, um, so if this is not for money, why am I playing? I can't play Arena because I have stream sniper's up. 20, 30 f***ing little kids on me. Now I just got warned that if I play another wager, I'll get banned. Scrims aren't running because no f***ing NA's player gives a f*** about comp. I have to switch games. I have to switch games. Wow. I legitimately have to switch games. I need to quit. I need to quit this f oh, I need to quit. As of right now, wager matches are still a bannable offense. To be fair, you can still run a wager match with your friends, you just can't stream it or have anyone else know about it, which honestly kind of defeats the point. But without sub customs, box matches, or really just viable alternatives to the free for all online arena mode, outside of official tournaments, pros are left with very few options to properly compete. I can't play wagers. I can't play arena. I can't play scrims. What is there to stream? Still, it's unlikely that Epic will budge on something as important to the integrity of their image as stopping literal children from gambling on their game. Unfortunately, with all of the discontent expressed by the community, this might honestly be a case of the cure being worse than the disease. Epic will definitely need to do something in order to fill the void that sub customs and box fighting left behind. But until that happens, we'll always have the memories. I have don't, no more. Don't, don't be too aggro. Don't be too aggro. Don't go for clips. Go for the win. It's more impressive for the win. Careful, 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 careful. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Yes. Easy grant. Easy grant. That was bigger than a ten dollar win.